Imagine a world where icy, frost-bitten routes turn into bustling maritime highways. A place where the colossal, frozen barriers of the Arctic melt away, revealing a shortcut so enticing, it reshapes global trade as we know it. Today, we're diving deep into the icy heart of the Arctic. Guided by the insights from the About This Chilly Route, could melting ice caps truly open a new, cheaper, and faster path for shipping from Europe to Asia? We're here to unpack this icy enigma and explore the frozen depths of possibility, the current scenario. This new route isn't just about time saving. It represents a significant shift in geopolitical dynamics, offering Russia and potentially China a strategic edge. Sidestepping traditional choke points like the South China Sea and the Middle East could reshape power balances. Economically, it's a potential bonanza, slashing operational costs, enhancing safety, and possibly easing regional tensions. The challenges. But the journey towards this polar promise is fraught with formidable challenges. First, let's talk navigation. The Arctic is a maze of moving ice, sea markers, and navigation aids that are essential in other oceans simply can't be anchored here. This moving ice not only poses a risk to ships, but also makes permanent infrastructure like buoys and lighthouses impossible to maintain. Accessibility is another mammoth challenge. Russia's northern coast is one of the most remote and inhospitable areas on the planet. With no significant communities connected by road or rail, logistic support is nearly non-existent. This isolation complicates everything from routine deliveries to emergency rescues. And consider the current state of Russian naval capabilities. Post-conflict wear and tear have left the fleet in less than ideal shape, undermining its ability to enforce safety and respond to incidents in this new maritime frontier. The population problem. Unlike the bustling maritime lanes threading through continents, this northern route offers a stark vista, endless, unpopulated icy expanses. This isolation means there are no ports for transitory trade, which is a crucial component of maritime economics. Ships on traditional routes often make multiple stops not just for refueling, but also to drop off and pick up goods, significantly lowering the overall cost per mile. Technological and Environmental Considerations Technological innovation, especially in icebreaker technology, holds some promise. Russia's development of nuclear-powered icebreakers could theoretically keep this route open year-round. However, economic sanctions and the current financial climate have put a freeze on much of this ambitious engineering. From an environmental standpoint, the implications are profound. An ice-free Arctic is a double-edged sword. It opens new routes, but also signifies drastic climate change. The ecological repercussions of diminished ice caps extend far beyond navigation, affecting global weather patterns and polar ecosystems long-term outlook. Looking into the crystal ball, even the most optimistic projections don't see a fully operational, ice-free Arctic route until 2050. And by then, the global political and economic landscape could be unrecognizable. Demographic shifts, particularly in powerhouse nations like China, could redefine demand and supply chains fundamentally. Geopolitical implications the geopolitical chessboard could also see dramatic shifts. This route would give Russia significant strategic and economic leverage, potentially altering its relationships with European countries, China, and even the US. However, reliance on such a volatile and harsh route comes with its own set of risks and uncertainties. In conclusion, while the Northern Passage whispers promises of a new maritime era, the reality is fraught with a cacophony of challenges technical, ecological, and geopolitical. For now, it remains a tantalizing what if a path encased in ice, not yet ready for the passage of today's titans of trade. For more insights into the future of global navigation and trade, subscribe and turn on notifications.